Happy holidays. This will be my first year celebrating Kwanzaa. Um, I haven't done all the research. I've been reading up for the last few months, a little bit here and there. So I'm not doing like everything, like the whole shebang. But I am gonna, you know, um, kind of do the, I guess the observance, for lack of better wording, of each day. Um, I'm gonna light the, not light, well, I'm gonna light the Kenora each day. I'm going to do that each day, but I'm going to do it my own way. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be making a DIY. I'm going to say Kenora. So correct me if I'm wrong. Like I said, this is my first time. Um, I wanted to do this because um, I enjoy, I meant to hit mute on the TV. I don't know if you can even hear it. Um, I wanted to celebrate Kwanzaa because I kind of, not kind of, but I enjoy the fact that it's not focused on gifts or financial gifts, so to speak. It's more on uh, other things, you know, being creative. Uh, it's about, you know, your community, your family. It's more focused on that instead of the financial aspect. Now... Granted, I'm still, I still celebrated Christmas. I'm still going to do that. So Kwanzaa is not a, in case you didn't know, Kwanzaa is not a religious thing. It's just about your roots, you know, your African ancestry, you know, things of that nature. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now that I've rambled, we're going to be doing a DIY Kenora. And I know it's way easier ways to do it, but this is my way that came to my head. Of doing it it makes it kind of interesting or exciting for me so I'm gonna show you the supplies and then we're gonna hit it okay so we got our supplies got the paint red black green paint the brown is for our actual candle holder or candle abra um, I'll show you what that's what that's for this will be the candle abra it's already brown, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Um, some clothespins. I have seven clothespins. These will be the actual candles. We have some pipe cleaners for our flames. This is an example of a flame, so I'll be making six flames. I've already got one. We need an exacto knife or a box cutter and paintbrush and a ruler. And that's all you need. I think I don't think I forgot anything that's all you need and we gonna get into it so all right let's go what's up aliens thank you for joining me for another DIY video thank you for coming to watch all of my content don't forget to thumbs up subscribe comment below and if you have any ideas for any future content future projects future pranks or challenges let me know. Don't be afraid. I'm open for it. As long as it's good for my health. No problem at all. All right, y'all. Thanks again for watching.
Okay. Now that we are done with our candle holder, you can see. I'll show you all the details. I just drew, put the little knots to the lines just to make it look like real wood. This is our candle holder. The clothes pins act as our candles. Red, green, and black. And gold pipe cleaners will act as our flames. Can you see? And we could use yellow or what have you. I just happen to have gold. So it works out for me. So we're going to put them in like so. We have black. That goes in the middle. That goes in the middle. Then we have a green candle. Goes in the next spot. Another green candle. Goes in the next spot. So the green candles go to your right, on your right side of the black candle. Red candles go on your left. Put that in there. And like I said, I know some people are like, well, why go through all of this? You could have just bought some candles. Okay, well, this is about creativity. This is about, you know, doing your own thing. So, I was creative, and I did it my own way. So, for each day, we make it lower. Put them down a little bit lower. Put that lower. Bring that like that. Bring the black up. Put it down. Put it down. Okay. So, there you go. That's my candle holder. So, for each day... Um, when you see this day, when you see this video, it'll be day four. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and light all the candles, so to speak. And it's going to be kind of, but it is what it is. I'm going to take the candle out, and we're going to put the flame in. There we go. My candle is lit for the first day. You start with the black candle. Put your black candle in. Boom. Go to the next one. Put your flame in. Got your, ne your next candle. Next candle is lit. Then you go to your green candle. Yep. Okay. Boom. Got it. Put your flame in for the next day. Boom. And like I said, by the time you see this video, it will be day four of Kwanzaa. So, I'm just going to go ahead and light the flame for day four. Then that leaves me with three flames. Three flames left. I know I'm kind of far away, but... And here we go. We have the Kenora. Well, Kenora. I may be pronouncing it wrong. I'm sure I am. Hey. Like I said, it's my first time, so... I'm learning. But, now you can see. See? And it's easy DIY for my crazy mind. But it's just something nice, and then I can have this, and I don't have to worry about burning myself. I don't have to worry about knocking it over. I don't have to worry about that. I have my DIY um, Kedora. Looks like wood. Got my nice candles all colored and nice flames. So, that's that. And I'm going to get out of here. So, Habari Ghani. Thanks for visiting. Thanks for watching. And um, as usual, be as ill as you can be. And I'll holler y'all. I'm out.